Okay, welcome back. Here I have uh, question number two from February, March 2018. Paper four, variant two. It, it tells us that the vertices of a square ABCD lie on the circumference of a circle of radius eight centimeters. Okay, so it's like a cyclic quadrilateral as well. So it's a square. Calculate the area of the square. Now, there's multiple ways we could do this, multiple ways, but there's one way that I can imagine is quicker and simpler than the rest of them. Okay. Now, one of the ways we could do this is to let me just oh, a second there. I need a straight line, and the straight line should be quite thin. Okay, I'm going to join. <clears throat> I'm going, to, okay. I'm going to join that point on the opposite side and B to D as well. Okay. So the radius of this of these um, circles is eight centimeters. So that means the circum the diameter is is sixteen centimeters. So we say A to C is sixteen centimeters, and so is B D. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now. The ways I could answer this question are as follows. I could take this as, if it's a square, the diagonals, they intersect at right angles, okay? So I could say that this is 8, this is 8, and this is a right angle, okay? So the area of the square, okay, you can find the area of, for example, you could say that this is, you can do this, actually, this is 16, and B to D, and that's 8. So we've got like two triangles like this. Yeah. Mm, well, it's a bit more it's isosceles. That's 16. Okay. And that is 8. That's a right angle. So we say the area is equal to a half times the base times the height. A half times the base times the height. Okay. Um, and then you multiply that by 2. Okay. Because there's 2 of them. So there's two of them with each other, okay? You've got A, B, D, and you've got B, D, C. So the half cancels with the two. You've got 16 times 8. Um, you've got 80 plus 48, which is 128 centimeters squared. Okay, that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is to, to give the area of a... The area of a kite is a half times the product of the diagonals. And a square, in, in some sense, is kind of like, to, like a kite because the diagonals intersect at right angles, okay? So you can say it's a half times 16 times 16, which also gives you the same answer. Another way you could do it is you could define the length of one of these sides, um, AD. So, okay, that's 8 and that's 8, so that's going to be the square root of 128, because you're going to have a Pythagoras, it'll be 8 squared plus 8 squared square rooted, and this is also the square root of 128, and the area is going to be the square root of 128 times the square root of 128, which gives you 128. So there's multi multiple ways of finding the area of this square in this question. Okay, um, that's well, that's um, how we can deal with that. Okay, but what I'm going to take into account is the fact we found the area of one of these triangles to be basically 60. One of these triangles, okay, the very area of one of these is going to be a, a half times 8 times 8, which is going to be um, 64, 32. This is 32, this is 32, this is 32, this is 32. And that gives you 1, 2, 8. But that's going to help us for the next part of the question. Okay, uh, I'll just go straight on to the next part of the question because that was pretty short. So, I'm going to cal calculate the area of the shaded segment. Okay, so uh, we've already worked out just now. Okay, that... The area of this triangle is 32 centimeters squared. Okay. We know this is 8 and we know this is 8. Um, if I work out the area of the sector and take away from it the area of the triangle, which we know the area of, then I'll find the area of the shaded segment. Okay. So the area of a sector is given by the angle over 360, which is 90 over 360, which is a quarter times the total area. Okay, I'm finding the area of the whole seg 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 segment first. Sorry, the whole sector first. So a, a quarter times pi times 8 squared minus the area of the triangle, which as we said is a half times 8 times 8. 
this right angle, we said it's 32 anyway. Okay, and that will give me the area that I need. So you're going to have 64 over 4, which is 16. So you have 16 pi minus, and that's going to be 32. All right, which you have to write in its exact form. Or no, in its rounded form, sorry. Calculator, and we're going to, we're going to put 16 pi minus 32. 16 pi minus 32 equals, oops, I also put it in the wrong mode. Mm -hmm. Mode 1, 16 pi, 16 pi minus 32, which equals 18.265. 18.265. There's no um, instruction as to how to round. So 3SF, 18.3 square centimeters. That's part B. And what does part C say? Part C says calculate the perimeter of the shaded segment. Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, we've got to work out the length of AD, okay, which we already kind of worked out in one of those methods that I taught you in the first part of the question. Um, the length of AD. Well, if this is a right angle, this is 8 and this is 8. This is going to be the square root of 128 by Pythagoras. That's AD. That's part of the perimeter of the shaded segment. Oops, 128. And then we've got to find the length of the arc AD. The length of the arc AD okay, is going to be given by the angle, which is 90 over 360, which is a quarter again, times. This time it's, it's that fraction of the circumference so times 2 pi r so it's be a quarter times 2 times pi times 8 okay uh, that cancels with that that's going to give you 4 pi so your perimeter is going to be the square root of 128 plus 4 pi and i will just uh, pause it there for a second okay so there we have root 128 which is the length of ad and 4 pi which is the length of the arc ad Okay, so you end up with the answer as the square root of 128. So we have the square root of 128. And you've got plus 4 pi. Make sure you don't put the 4 pi under the square root as well. That's 4 pi. It's good to leave things in the exact form until the last moment. That gives you 23.88. 23.88. Twenty three point eight eight zero, that, which leaves you with twenty three point nine centimeters. Twenty three point nine centimeters. There's no instruction about rounding, so we leave it to three seconds before. Okay, so there we have it. Pretty simple question actually, and that was it. I think was there any other part to it? No, that was it. Okay. Thank you for listening.